Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to your Virgo love reading, this channel. If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like and subscribe. Um, so this channel is strictly for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And as usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits and of course, you can just leave the rest, okay? Um, yeah, so happy to be back. I love being here every day with you guys. Um, so if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video where you can go ahead and book a phone call reading with me. And if you're calling internationally and you need to use WhatsApp or Skype, I am available for uh, to have a phone call reading through those apps. So when you book, just send me a message and, and let me know and we can set that up. All right, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's take a look, okay. Oh, so the Page of Swords just flipped out in the reverse and it went right back into the deck. And, and that <laughs> Page of Swords energy is in the reverse, kind of like for some bad news or, um, Communication, legal or tax issues, something showing up here. This is kind of like definitely a stalking energy for some. Okay, but we're going to leave that there. So we have the Four of Swords in the past for you. Okay, Queen of Wands, center of the reading. The challenge is the Six of Wands. Driving the reading is the Six of Swords. Crowning is Judgment. Near Future, Two of Cups. Beautiful. Your advice. Oh, the Emperor is back. Hello, Emperor. And the other person, Seven of Swords. King of Wands. Mm. Hopes and Fears, Two of Pentacles. And the outcome, got the three of pentacles and the sun. Very good positive outcome, positive outlook here. Okay, let's see what your love messages are, Virgo. Love messages for Virgo. Okay, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I just feel like Virgo right there, that's a very straightforward message. Keep putting yourself first. It's not, it's not selfish. It just means know your worth and keep doing that. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Some of you have children. Um, and it's difficult to come together with someone due to children being in your life, okay? Some of you may be wanting children or struggling to have children. <clears throat> okay, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's pretty... That's confirmation there that whomever it is that you are connecting with this at this time is the soulmate because or will be because the two of cups for me is my soulmate card. Um, is it a twin flame? Thank God, no. <laughs> soulmate energy is much easier to um, work with than twin flame energy. Um, okay, let's take a look. The past energy though, four of swords. Um, this kind of feels like solitude. Someone was in solitude, not communicating, not speaking, um, at rest with their thoughts. Um, for some, it could have been a funeral um, or someone laying in wake. Um, but mostly it's just an energy of um, quiet retreat, a lack of communication in the past. Um, kind of feel like somebody it's just sleeping, sleeping on the job, sleeping in the relationship. But it's also a positive card because it does bring about rest, okay, and renewal. So somebody uh, may have taken a break from a relationship to get some rest or to renew um, or restore a sense of sanity. 
okay seven of cups okay now for some of you there was an energy in the past here where someone was not willing to commit to something or spent a lot of time in fantasy land daydreaming and i do feel it is a little bit of both okay for for some of you you may have just dealt with someone that ghosted you or just disappeared okay and went silent or went quiet or you did that on somebody and for others there is an energy of someone spent a lot of time um, maybe in magical thinking or just fantasizing about you okay what things would be like it feels like daydreaming i'm feeling like there was a lot of daydreaming in the past okay uh, the present energy though is the queen of wands so someone in your life currently who represents that queen of wands energy that feisty confident self-assured um leo sagittarius aries we also have scorpio um yeah a lot of fire and mars energy um so it feels like for the females this is definitely your energy at this time trying to be successful it's a real challenge to it feels like it's a maybe a challenge to receive some recognition or appreciation or to be victorious in something in your life it, it's difficult for you i mean you it's like you've got everything you need in order to be accomplished i'm sorry but there's an energy where it's kind of not just here yet and for the males there is someone you may presently be connecting with or is in your circle where it's really difficult to make something happen with this person okay but let me get a queen of wands clarifier here oh queen of pentacles hmm. to be able to come together okay you and another person male or female the energy it doesn't matter um you know that's virgo taurus capricorn energy there's there is a, there is definitely there's an obstacle to achievement here at this time and it could be to come together or to bring a relationship into focus okay to be successful both of you let's get a clarifying card for the six of wands oh and the queen of wands again and the lovers yeah somebody whomever you are seeking both of you actually okay there's a stubbornness here it's like with the lovers i feel like there's a decision here to be made to come together and i feel like both parties want this and the lovers is that deep partnership you know this is like um the deep love both uh, this is the twin flame here <laughs> course but it's a challenge and that's what this this is what this energy is twin flame relationships are always extremely challenging um now there may be someone else involved in the situation there could be um, a mother a sister um an ex which might make it very difficult at this time what's driving this reading is six of swords yeah overcoming somebody here is really trying to overcome some issues or to um, make a necessary transition relocate move travel get on a boat <laughs> you know um, and it, it may not just be one person it's like both i feel like you and another person okay this reading feels mostly about trying to move something to the next level which feels challenging okay there's an element though of victory can be had this can work out um, the path to this means having both of you to um, 
overcome fears. This is this is always that card for me. Overcoming these fears, making these changes. Let's get a clarifying card for that. I don't usually do that. Yep, five of wands. That's the challenge. Overcoming the fears. The obstacles. The obstacle is that. Now, what's crowning down is judgment. So this is like having clarity. This is a wake-up call. This is like revelation here. Let's see. And the Six of Wands again. Having victory. I feel like you and another person both are aware that success is, is right there to reach that lover's energy, you and another person both know that it can be had and there's a waking up to this. But it's like, how do we overcome these, these challenges, these problems, these obstacles? What are these? Besides, if it's um, relocating or moving or traveling, um, whatever the connection or the dynamic of the relationship is, it's partially in the head. It's like mostly in the head. It's like preparing. I feel preparing to battle. Okay, three of cups. Some of you, it's really just about getting back out there and dating again, trying to find your other half here. Real challenge, maybe in the past, kind of fantasizing about what that person would look like. Um, kind of some of you are able to see your lover in your mind's eye without ever having met them. And it feels like needing to be brave and take this bold step. But a lot of you are taking more practical steps. I feel like some of you are really trying to manifest your love and some of you are kind of searching for that twin flame but i feel mostly like you've got a soulmate coming in that's better suited for you right in other words you don't have that i don't know if you guys are subconsciously seeking the emotional roller coaster of a relationship because it's familiar or really trying to just be more practical about getting involved again so that you can avoid that the soulmate energy is much easier so maybe it's about for some taking a step back and saying you know something it's not settling but it's like love shouldn't be that hard do you know what i mean it shouldn't be that difficult so we've got the King of Cups here, and I wasn't pulling that for anything, it just flipped out. So for some of you, there could be a water element involved. Um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces could be playing a huge role in um, this reading in some way. Let's see. But for others, it's really just trying to have some kind of Should we just be friends or should we be lovers, right? That's the challenge here. Uh, overcoming, maybe overcoming a friendship and turning it into love. And for others, this is like trying to have a reunion here. Some of you may be trying to reunite with somebody. Okay. So the near future is the Two of Cups, which is good. I see two people here coming together. And I, I see a decision being made about love. For some of you, it's a Leo. But I do see there's a coming into agreement, being on the same page, mirroring one another, giving and receiving. This is reciprocity. This is mutuality. This is partnership. Opposites attract for some of you. So there may be some diversity, but these are two people making a choice to come together here. But in a sense, it's like not the choice of the lovers, but more so coming into agreement and finding commonality and common ground. Let's see. Let's get a clarifying card here. Who is this? 
Two of Cups. For some of you, it could be fire sign. It could be a water sign. Um, more specifically, I was going to say it could be an air sign. Some of you may be trying to reunite with someone and then somebody else comes in. Sometime in September. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But there's also an energy here, male or female, mostly female. Um, this person that you connect with, very good conversation between the two of you. One major thing about this connection is both understanding one another, good communication, honest, honest communication and good listening skills and having the ability to take that sword and have there's like mental clarity here between the two of you uh, understanding one another not really needing to sift through the clues and I feel like for some of you you really do meet your other half this could be somebody new for you and for others it could be you and your person coming into a place where it's like yes we're finally on the same page about things Romantic love, partnership, could be proposal or marriage. Yeah, three of swords. A lot of truth, communication about heartbreak. Somebody's going to tell somebody about how they were cheated on or how they were, um, how they went through a divorce or suffered a very deep heartbreak or a loss or perhaps they had a major surgery. Um, it could also be um, about dealing with depression. Okay, so there's an open, open, honest communication coming here. And I feel like you and your person opening up to one another and finding that you both went through the same things. Um, it's beautiful. So the emperor is here sitting in the position of your advice. And as an energy, it feels to me like your advice, Virgo, is to take the lead. Be strategic in your planning at this time. If you're male, focus on being a good father to your children or grandchildren or whomever. Make that a priority in your life. But it's also... This emperor always represents respect. And loving yourself first means your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I feel like your advice during this time is to embrace the integrity within you and be a leader. Respect yourself. Let's get another clarifying card. Okay, the death card. Bury the past. Let go of the past. If some of you are widows and you lost someone, are you dealing with someone who has? Understand that they're really trying to overcome that here in their life. Okay. Um, they're really trying to... be in a much better position in their life. If some of you lost, had a loss due to a death. It feels like it's time now, they're saying, to move on. There may be a rebirth. For some of you, it may be about trying to have a child again and taking the lead in that. And not doubting yourself about that. But it's time to transform. Okay. Out of these murky moon waters. This is this card's about volunteer voluntary changes. So it's mostly about the changes that you need to make. Take on that emperor energy where do it, do it, just do it. Don't allow it to happen. Take a leadership role in your life to make change with people, places, or things. 
Okay, so it's external to you. The King of Wands. Now this might be someone that you have no interest to be connected with anymore. Okay. That is kind of like lurking. That's what I feel. Because remember, we had the Page of Swords in the beginning in reverse. This might be someone who ran away from you, but is still lurking. Um, it doesn't have to be fire. It could be any sign. But there's an element here of um, betrayal and dishonesty. Okay. And I, I do feel whoever this person is external to you, it may not be a new love that you have in your life. I feel like this might be someone in your past who's still kind of around. I feel this is mostly like a lot of you Virgos starting coming out of the dark and trying to have a lover and trying to meet someone. But there is still like this ghost or this phantom X. Hmm. They're waiting for the opportunity to come back into your life. They're just waiting. I feel like a lot of you are like, no, I'm moving on to greener pastures in my life. I want something better. I want some I want someone you want someone that you can open up to and be honest with and you know not dump everything out but to express your your hurts and someone that you know you can find common ground with you know that'll just understand and say hey yeah i get it i went through the same thing i had the same struggles you know that kind of energy so your hopes is that there will be a balance in partnership going forward in your life. This is a card of stability, that no matter how much the, sh the ships, the boats are rocking up and down on the water, you'll be able to maintain a steady um, course that you won't get thrown off the ship, so to speak. <laughs> I mean... There's a roller emotional roller coaster energy here that you may be on in your life. And your hope is that it, things will balance out and kind of like get more neutral. You know, like when the boat is rocking, when you kind of go with the flow, you stabilize. But when you resist, then you're on that roller coaster. Sometimes it's just, I was just hearing that song, um, from Incubus, whatever tomorrow brings, I'll be there. You know, if you listen to the lyrics, I'll post the song in the comment box below. But if you listen to the lyrics, it's like, that Bruce Lee quote, the stiffest tree breaks in the wind, but the bamboo bends easily, goes with the flow kind of thing. The looser that you are, the less your rigidity, the easier it is to balance yourself and just kind of go with it, right? Um, there's definitely a fear there that you won't be able to keep those balls up in the air and you may drop a few. And if you do drop a few, that's okay because that's part of the learning process is to pick those balls up again and try again. The outcome is beautiful though. I see teamwork, collaboration. I see marriage. I see sunshiny days, positivity here for you, Ergo. I see carving away, creating a masterpiece in your life. And I also see for some of you news about a child, good positive news about a child or possibly even a birth. But I also see fun and I see play, enjoying your work, enjoying your studies, and having a lot of people around you that you come into harmony and someone in particular that you come into union with. Look, the magician. So we have Gemini energy here. So this is definitely an energy of, 
you know, putting all your cards out on the table, being very focused with your creativity and turning these visions into reality. Because Virgo, I feel like when it comes to a relationship or partnership or what you seek, I feel like you have it. Some of you have a vision board, but you kind of have it in your mind's eye, you know, of what it is that you want and working on that to remove all the things that just drag you down and get to the core of who you are. Some of you may even, may even be hiring uh, someone to help you with that. But I do see a beautiful partnership coming forward for you, Virgo. I just want to get a little more clarity on that. <clears throat> because I feel like whoever's lurking in the, in the woods or in the bushes... For some of you, this is somebody who did run away from you and is seeking an opportunity to reinvest. Yeah, the wheel of the year when the time is right. And for others, this could be somebody that you're currently meeting up with soon or trying to establish something with at this time where you are expressing your hurts and pains and and this person may tell you um, that they're at a turning point in their life and they're tired of being deceived they're tired of people um, taking from them or being dishonest and they're also very discerning now about others that they connect with in, in their dating life or who they meet you know, the minute, if it's, as soon as they they can sense that you are truthful and honest and authentic, I feel like this person will then see, wow, Virgo is not betraying me, is not being dishonest. I, there really isn't an, an opportunity for change here with the Wheel of Fortune. There really is an opportunity. This is going to be a turning point in my life with Virgo. But there may be that this person watches very closely first to see if they, they're they watching to see what type of a person you are. Are you straight up and are you honest? And you're doing the same. Okay, Page of Swords. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely... Um, a lot of curiosity here about this community about this connection that you will have with this person going forward and a lot of truth truthful communication between the two of you but there's also a lot of like watching very closely see how somebody reacts to what you communicate or vice versa and strength is here so leo energy again courage Two people being open and honest and courageous with their emotions, vulnerability. Um, that's also a card of self-love, self-respect. So I feel like, like, you know, the, the messages are going to range between a lot of you. I mean, that's why I say just take what fits because there's several different storylines here. It's not just, it's not linear. But I think that you, when you resonate with it, you'll understand to what point I'm getting at for you specifically, not for all of you. If you are, in summary, dating someone new or you're going to be meeting someone new, I feel like you may have somebody lurking in the shadows. You also will have somebody who is very discerning, who has been hurt in the past. And there will be expression and communication about that. If this is someone from your past, Virgo, that you're hoping to have a reunion with, but it's a challenge, it's difficult, I do feel like you guys are going to um, get on the same page going forward. But you guys will be open and honest with each other, but this person um, has either been hurt and they have a tendency to hurt, um, but I feel like there is a huge change within them in regard to their past hearts 
or if you guys have had issues in the past. All right, let's take a look and see what the lover's messages are here for you, Virgo. I am so attracted to you. Okay, very nice. I remember every detail of that day. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. And we were seeing that. Two of Cups is always my friendship card, but it's romantic friendship. It's kind of like, you know, there's love involved. Okay. I hid who I really am from you. If this is somebody that you're simply just friends with, and you've been, both of you have been daydreaming or thinking or fantasizing about each other and what it's like, what it might be like to be together. It is a challenge to come together. Definitely. There are obstacles in the way of this, but I feel like you guys kind of do come together. Wait, timing is not quite right yet. Okay. So it's definitely an energy of like just going slow and, and, and waiting all right there's regret someone feels remorse for the way they treated you i'm not sure who that is but there is abundance here you've done the work virgo and abundance will flow to you now one more okay someone wants you to know that you don't know how hard it was to let you go well that kind of calls for you to feel bad for them. And I don't really feel like Virgo, if someone let you go, that you're, some of you may not be in the mindset of like, oh, I'm supposed to feel sorry for you. <laughs> you let me go. <laughs> I don't, but somebody here possibly needs to hear that. Okay. I replay our conversations over and over. Okay. Somehow this person has a tendency to think, oh, I should have said that when the time was right, when the opportunity arose. I didn't jump. I didn't say what I needed to say. And there might be a, a little bit of regret about not saying something when they should have. All right, let's take a look at the charms and then I'm going to give you your overall advice. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right, we're back with the um, fishbone bonefish. I looked this up the other day. For some of you, this is basically a past relationship. Whatever meat was left has just completely been obliterated. It's almost like some of you are just like, I, there's, n there's nothing left to chew on in this past relationship anymore. And this is really just a message that it's just nothing left but a carcass. You've used up all. And for, for some of you, it's just like there's no turning back at this point because this carcass does represent like what's done is done, right? And I feel like that's a very strong message. And some of you, again, uh, might be going to the bonefish. <laughs> and we also have a mermaid. This is so pretty. So something here about the sea. I feel like for the ladies, this mostly means... Um, For the ladies who are interested in men, I feel like do you have an ability, Virgo females, to capture a man's heart and just drag him down to the pit of the ocean? <laughs> I don't know. That just came to me. But I'm also hearing somebody's name. They just said Ariel. 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 Uh, Ariel is connected to somebody. Okay. Um, it's interesting that this mermaid has a lot of green and white. So I feel like minty. I have like a cool feeling coming over me when I absorb that energy. And it feels like um, maybe you're eating some mints or you're having some minty gum or you're chewing some minty gum right now as you're listening. And then we have this blue frame a blue frame somebody has a blue picture frame somewhere in their room with a very important special picture in it that represents someone special to them it's just a blue picture frame 
I'm going to pull one more. Love. Beautiful. The, the word love written in cursive. Love is all over this reading. If you're not going back to the past, you definitely have new love coming in here. But if there's somebody coming back or there's something going on here where there's trying to be a reunion, I do feel like it's going to be very positive because I feel like both people are ready to really make some kind of change in their lives. There's like a, a but it's kind of like the, the struggle with the twin flame. I don't even know if twin flames can reduce back to soulmates, but I'm just hearing the way it was in the very beginning, in the early days, and going from there, erasing everything that went forward that was difficult, and just starting over from the very beginning. And let's get your advice. And oh, they just said for some of you, there is somebody from the past coming back, but you've got new love. Okay, you have the dreamer, a new start, trust yourself, push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. All right, that's a strong um, message for you, Virgo. Interestingly enough, the words down here are me. It's all about you, your self-love, yourself self-respect somebody's initials might be me or someone lives in maine in the united states and then we have justice so we have aquarius and libra and energy be impartial and objective don't choose a side right now stand up for what you believe try to see all sides of this particular situation you will win if your position is one of integrity virgo and let's get one more Okay, you have the seven of fire. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs, Virgo. Have confidence in yourself. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. Don't fight everybody, but whomever you need to stand up to, some of you may need to do that. Your self-respect is what will make you more romantically attractive to other people or to someone in particular. All right, Virgo, that's your reading. Hope you enjoy it. Please leave a like on the video before you click out and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of when I upload, but you guys are pretty much aware that I'm here at the same time every day. Um, yeah, so I will see you very soon. Love you guys, bye.